Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Venue 2 Plus and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the uh, Garmin Connect application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the uh, Garmin Connect application and your iPhone uh, to send the notifications to your watch. So, open the settings on your iPhone. In settings, open the order tab on the Bluetooth option. And here on the list of my devices, you should see Venue 2 Plus. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here you should see the option called Share System Notifications. And this option needs to be enabled. If you don't see this option, close the settings for now. Open the uh, Connect application, Garmin Connect application on your iPhone. Uh, tap on uh, More. Scroll down, tap on Garmin Devices. Select your Venue 2 Plus. Uh, scroll down, tap on sounds and alerts. Here tap on smart notifications. Tap on general use or during activity. And disable the notifications. And then re-enable them. And then go back to the uh, main page and sync your watch with your phone. And wait. And after a couple of seconds you should see the pop-up on the screen about the permissions. And if you see this pop-up, allow required permissions. And once you allow them, close the app, go back to settings. And now uh, in settings, tap on Bluetooth, find the venue 2 plus, tap on the info icon next to it. Make sure that the share system notification option is enabled. Once you do, go back to the main page of settings. And here, scroll down, find the Garmin Connect application, tap on it. And make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled. Once it is, uh, you can close the settings and go back to uh, Garmin Connect application. So you can reopen the Garmin Connect. Uh, I'm gonna skip this, then tap on more, Garmin devices, tap on Venue 2 Plus, scroll down, tap on sounds and alerts, alerts rather, tap on smart notifications. And here we have a couple things we can customize for our notifications. We have general use, during activity. General use is basically when you're using your watch normally, when you're not tracking or uh, recording any uh, workout activity. And during activity is when you're recording the workout or activity on your watch. Timeout option allows you to select for how long the notification stays on the screen of the watch. And the privacy allows you to uh, basically uh, set some privacy options. Uh, first, let's tap on general use. Here you can turn on or off the notification notifications for general use, of course. You can also select the types of notifications that you want to see. Then you can go back, tap on during activity. You can do the same. Then you can go back, tap on timeout. Here you can select how long the notification will stay on the screen. And the privacy, like I said before, you can select action or gesture. And if you, for example, select action, you will need to press the action button to display the uh, notification uh, content and if you want to see uh, perform gesture you can select the gesture option and of course you can disable it if you select off and once you're done like i said before uh, go back to the device page and you will see settings will be applied next time you sync your device tap on ok and sync your watch with your phone the watch should sync with your phone for some reason it's struggling with it i'm gonna um, go to the controls menu. I'm gonna do this. Turn off the phone connection. Turn it back on, and uh, try to sync it now. Okay, let's try to close the app and reopen it because for some reason it doesn't want to sync with our watch.
Okay, one thing I'm gonna try is to basically uh, maybe reboot the watch. So I'm gonna tap on this, turn it off. We can also turn off the Bluetooth on our phone, then turn it back on, turn on the watch, and hopefully this time it will sync. This was weird because it normally it, it should sync in like second or two. For some reason, it's struggling with it. Um, but let's see if we can fix it. Okay, let's try now. Okay, still struggling with uh, syncing. So let's try uh, using the notifications or rather receiving the notifications on the watch. Maybe it's gonna work even though it doesn't want to sync. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord and we'll see what's gonna happen. And it's working, okay. So we didn't have to uh, jump through the hoops to sync the watch for some reason. But I mean, it should be syncing, but as you can see, it's still stuck on it so I don't know why it's like that but anyway once you sync the watch or supposedly sync watch it should be working so you should be able to receive the notifications and if you miss them you can swipe up on the screen tap on notifications and here you should see your notifications on the screen and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the uh, iPhone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.